<laughs> Hi, my name is Steve Houston, and welcome to my channel where I discuss all things related to financial services, their products, the compensation plans, the IMOs. We compare the IMOs, and I supply third party documentation to back up my opinion. Then you can decide what's best for you. I'm excited. This week, we continue what I believe is critical to your long term success in mortgage station and final expense or any other business growing yourself through personal development, goal setting, and setting the correct expectations, I believe is key. No matter what your skill set is, you got to get this six inches between your two ears right first before any of the skills in business that you learn, product knowledge, all that stuff can really, really work and explode you out of the mud into a career that can literally change your financial life. Look, I want to thank all of you who have participated in this group so far. We're only video number two in what should be a seven to 10 video series, right? You've registered for the handouts. If you haven't done that yet, the link's in the description. There will be handouts for just about every video that we do because that's going to allow you to have the tools necessary in your hands to learn, to apply the principles and take advantage of them. I'm supplying those to everybody that's joining me in this course over the next several weeks on email every week just before the video comes out. So if you haven't done that, be sure to click the link. Uh, put your name and your uh, email in there and you'll get the handouts. I'm not going to call you. Don't even supply your phone number, right? I'm not trying to recruit you. I simply want you to have the tools necessary to really take full advantage of this program. Look, it makes it much more fun knowing that there's a group of people interested in growing yourself and your skills, even though it's not really what you came here for initially. But I promise I have some real exciting new trainings uh, coming to help you with the product knowledge and sales skills over the next few weeks. Really, I've got some great plans, I believe, through the whole 2019, uh, bringing on some guests, doing a lot of great fun stuff. So make sure you've subscribed. Uh, hit, click the subscribe button below. Hit the instant notifications. Mash that bell down there. Uh, that will give you instant notifications when a new video gets, uh, gets uploaded. And if you like the content, do me a favor, like the video. It helps get the video out to more people. And absolutely, without question, uh, put your comments below as well and share it with other agents that may be in your IMO. But again, if we get this thing right, I feel that you'll be in position to really uh, change your life financially. So let's get started on section two. If you've not watched the first video in this series, stop this one and go watch the first one so you're consuming this information in the right sequence. It will mean more and help you more in applying, I believe, each principle as we go along. This week, our principle number two is understanding what you control, right? I am personally in control of three things. Number one is the number of hours I commit to my schedule. Number two, the number of presentations I give every day. And number three, my attitude. <laughs> and if you have a tooth problem, you need to check out for the neck up, right? So let's take the first thing that you and I are in control of, the number of hours that I commit to my schedule. Key principle here, what you do today determines how much money you're going to make tomorrow. Post it so you can keep your mind in check as to making excuses when you run up against obstacles or you're struggling in this business because you will struggle and you will run into obstacles. That means you're on the right track and you're going to learn and grow through them. The only thing that will take you out of this business is the white space on your calendar. It will not be the leads, even though there is a difference in lead quality from IMO to IMO, and you want to research that. It won't be the IMO, right? There are differences in the IMO for sure, and you should compare those, and you should make sure you're getting the best of everything and not being charged for anything, right? It won't be your agency manager, Although that could be a major obstacle if you're in a network marketing type IMO where all your training comes through that upline, that won't be it. You can still succeed. It may not be the level you want to succeed at. You may still want to move, but at the end of the day, you can still make it. It won't be the products. All of these things matter, like I said, but if your calendar has a bunch of white spaces on it, you're fixing to get killed and taken right out of this business. Take 100% responsibility for your life and for your business and for your success in mortgage section and final expense. Compare all those things and then line yourself up with a coach or a mentor. The challenge with your calendar is if you don't have enough activity going on, you're going to start to blame it on all these other things, but won't look at the real issue, which is lack of activity. Activity can fix a multitude of problems. Just get busy, right? 
then if you're filling your calendar and still struggling, you can begin to analyze the other areas where you may need help or you may end up needing to make a change. The hours invested, let's talk about that for a second. It's like two fishermen that bait their hooks by 8 a.m. every day. One fishes to 5 p.m. The other stays out till 9 p.m. The second fisherman is putting in four plus hours of extra fishing each day. Two reasons why the second fisherman always wins in the long run is one, time. The extra 50% each day gives him the advantage in the law of averages. A beta hook that's in the water will always catch more fish than a hook that's out of water, right? Makes sense. You can't catch a fish with the hooks out of the water. Relating this to our business, those extra hours, those extra presentations, that extra face-to-face, -face, kneecap and kneecap contact with a prospect, presenting them their options, protecting their families, will allow more hungry fish to be hooked. It's very simple. So again, time is a very important part of this. The time that you're willing to allocate and be consistent on to your business. The second part of that is develop skills. While on the water that extra time each day, the second fisherman learns more about the intricate art of fishing. Hot spots, water depth, bait adjustments, all that stuff. If you're a fisherman, you can relate to what I'm saying. Practice makes perfect. Likewise, you'll learn from each presentation you make especially if you're calling on your team coach after every presentation. When applying this to our business, this is an important process. You may have heard this before, but I really believe in this a thousand percent. There are two ways of learning, through learned knowledge and activity knowledge. This is where many of you get stuck. You must have both. You have to learn the skills and then go apply them with activity. For example, getting with your coach. Now here's my disclaimer, you've heard it before. Your coach or mentor must be leading from the front and actually an expert in this area, not giving you book knowledge that they're reading out of some script and telling you to do something they've never done before. So again, when I say coach or mentor, that's the kind of person I'm talking about, not a recruiter. There are differences. So when you're working with that coach or mentor, get training on the phone script. Role play it for tone and tempo. Then pick up the phone and make some dials, trying to set some appointments. Then stop, call your coach, and go over the objections that you're getting. That's learned knowledge, how to handle objections. Then go back and grab the phone and learn some more by applying your learned knowledge to some activity. That's getting more activity knowledge. You need both, learned knowledge, activity knowledge. This is where most agents fail. They get some coaching from their coach or mentor and they disappear. They never come back and get more learned knowledge after doing some activity. Again, this is a critical part of this understanding is that you need both, learn knowledge and activity knowledge, and you continue to do that probably throughout your whole career, certainly until you become an expert in the area that you're trying to become skilled at. Remember, two types of learned knowledge, learn knowledge, activity knowledge, and repeat the process until you have perfected the skill you are trying to become an expert at. Practice makes perfect, but perfect practice creates perfect skills. So let's continue. In this part of the video, you want to start grabbing those handouts. Here's where you want to mark your PDA, your personal daily achievement form. More on that later, but that's in the handouts for this week. Here's another tip for you. If you pay attention to people, you will learn that they will tell you how to sell to them. It takes time and it takes your attention. The more people you see, the more sales you're going to make. In other words, activity solves a lot of problems that you're going to have in your business. You can't learn how to swim running around the pool. You have to jump in, start kicking, and swimming skills will develop. So let's talk about number two of the three things we are in control of, which is the number of presentations that we give each day, right? Key success tips here for you to write down. Stop the video please, and write these downs in your handouts. The four W's, some will, some won't, so what? Some are waiting. Number two, see a few, make a few bucks. See a ton, make a ton of bucks, right? Number three, you must see more to sell more. The takeaway from this part of the video is keep going, right? 
What is work? Let's talk about that for a few minutes because this derails a lot of agents as well. Work for us as mortgage protection and final expense agents is either making dials to set up our week. This must be a time that you never violate. It's just like showing up for work for that boss and your job. You don't show up often enough and on time, you're going to be fired. What else does work? presenting to a prospect, warm market, cold market, or a lead you purchase, doesn't matter. Someone that's interested in, or potentially interested in the products that you sell, right? Making dials, running the appointments, seeing the people, presenting options, and telling the stories. Income producing activities, in other words, in your business, or what we're gonna call from now on, IPAs. Let's right. define what a prospect is so we're all on the same page. A prospect is someone that is in need of our product or in the case of a lead has requested to speak to an agent and hear their options to protect their families or annuities. So let's talk about what work is not. Derails a lot of agents. Having lunch with a friend unless to network or present our products. Watching training videos, watching YouTube, <laughs> right? Here's an important one, being on training calls or webinars, checking Facebook or Twitter, wasting time talking to non-prospects, people that have no interest, or I love this one, other agents in your field, agency or IMO. Reorganizing your paperwork, your desk, or setting up your files, or getting your binder ready. While some of these are very, very important, they are not IPAs. They are not income producing activities. Key principle, don't confuse activity with accomplishment. So let's keep moving. Now that we're starting to move in some real skill sets you need to learn. How to plan your work. Look at your PDA chart and your handouts. You will need to make multiple copies of this to track your weekly progress. I recommend duplicating this system with your agents if you are building your own agency. Step number one, label all your weekly trainings, your conference calls, your webinars, your networking events, your call times. You must schedule in trainings and call times to grow your success. Learning to stitch your schedule is where you learn to employ yourself. Let's say you work for a corporation and you want to earn $100,000 a year, right? In your job description, you had to make calls every Monday from 8 a.m. to 12 noon or until you had 15 appointments filled up for each week, right? Would you be willing to do that for $100,000 if you work for somebody else? Maybe, maybe not. You decide. But what if your sister called and wanted to have coffee? Would you say, let's sure, stop. Would you say, sure, let's meet up in an hour? Or would you say, I'm sorry, I would love to, but I have to work. Now the question is, are you disciplined enough to say that same thing when you work for yourself? That's a question you've got to answer today. Learn to work harder for yourself than you would for anybody else. Key principle here, if you don't discipline yourself to build your business, someone will discipline you to build their business, right? You will have sold your dreams, your time, those perfect vacations, the lasting memories with your family for that job so your boss can have the perfect work-life balance that you will never have because you sold out. Stop. Step number three is fill in the goal worksheet of your PDA. Put the number of daily presentations to meet your weekly income goal, which is taking your monthly income goal, dividing it by four weeks, and write that number in the goal section of the PDA. Grab the sheet and do it now. Pause the video. Stop. Remember, if you're part-time in mortgage protection and final expense, that means you will need to determine how many days a week you will, without question, be willing to be in the field. If it's three days a week and you need 10 appointments, which is what you'll need to be on track to earn $100,000 part-time in mortgage protection, divide 10 by three, and you'll need a minimum of three appointments per day. Don't let the minimum be your maximum. Be willing to do just a little bit more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna do a part two. The reason why is I know based on YouTube analytics that most of you are checking out right now. So I'm gonna stop it now, create a part two, and I'll see you on the next section.